been talking about the Perky's multimeter kit, and today we're gonna to talk about the continuity function. This is a very handy function for technicians. They just have to be aware that there are good points and bad points whenever they do use it. Before we go into our continuity test, first we have to make sure we understand what is continuity or what is a continuity test. Continuity test is just a simple function on your meter that it allows you to go from two ends of a wire or ends of a circuit, and it will tell you are they connected. Just like before, we first gotta set up our meter. We're gonna put it onto the second function here. We have to hit the mode button and go again to continuity check. And we can walk all the way through the circuit. So I'm gonna go from battery ground to our junction stud. Again, we show continuity. We go from our junction stud to our light ground. And we go from our ground here to the relay ground. And we're showing perfect continuity everywhere. The problem is with the circuit, it's not working properly. And say, so, well, what's wrong? It shows them all my wires are good. Well, just because a wire appears to be good does not mean it is good. So we're just gonna pull back the conduit on this wire here so we can take a look at the actual wire. If you look at it, we have a piece of 10 gauge wire. Every strand but two are broke. It's still gonna show continuity, but can this wire handle any current? No. That's where we go back and we use our voltmeter to do voltage drop testing where we can pull current through this wire and look, does it have the capacity to handle that amperage? As I showed today, continuity can be a helpful tool, but you do have to understand its limitations when you are using it. 